Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be the playoff run for the ICBA season four. And this is going to be the final uh, episode of the whole ICBA playlist. Uh, I did want to really feel like I finished out that playlist before moving on to ICBA season five, which is actually going to be uploaded this Monday. And I already played that match. It's a really, really fun matchup. I think uh, you guys are going to have fun with it. But before I wanted to get that out, I really wanted to at least have a full playlist of the, of the ICBA season four. This is going to be our playoff run. Uh, I try to put out the final few battles that were not uploaded a little bit earlier in the week and that got us here to the playoffs. We did get the second to last seed, I believe, and that did put us in a wildcard match against the final seed and I believe everybody above us had buys. So we're really kind of playing for our playoff uh, contention here, but I'm just going to get into this matchup. He ends up, uh, I did have this on slow because uh, I want to see how, how well this goes, but he leads off with the Aromatis and I lead off with the Infernape. Not a great situation for me. Obviously, I just want to U-turn out here, get uh, a tiny bit of chip and be able to kind of uh, wall this thing a little bit. He goes for a Psychic, which is a super bold turn one play, but uh, it does allow my Steelix to come in for absolutely free and he has to switch out. But uh, for this matchup, I actually brought Iron Head. Now, Aromatis is so slow that Gyro Ball actually uh, doesn't do as much damage as, as I need it to. And and I think, I think, I don't quite remember, but I think I might have made my, um, my Steelix Sheer Force for this matchup. I think it might have been one of the only times that I brought Sheer Force Steelix just for this uh, particular matchup. But, uh, he sets up rocks. Th that lets my Celebi come in. I, I can set up rocks on his switch and just you turn out back into the Steelix and I'm not too too concerned about what this Aromatisse can do in front of the Steelix because uh, from what I've seen before in this in, in this interaction before I don't think I have to fear the HP fire unless he's really hiding that very very well from me so I honestly expected him to switch out that's why I switched out myself into my Celebi and it was pretty unfortunate I'd get a special attack drop but um, I really didn't expect him to want to stay in here I thought that he would think that I, I could potentially pack the toxic and that would hurt the aromatis quite a bit in this situation but instead he just uh, stays in if anything I thought he had he, he, I felt like he had a lot of options to go into but uh, now it starts to make sense why he's just saying and he wants to try to use use me as fodder and call mine up for free and uh, I did go into Blastoise temporarily to get to get a rapid spin off, but now I realize how serious this is. I cannot let this Aromatis just set up for free. So I go into Steel Eggs kind of panicked, but we do still take those hits reasonably well. And uh, that Sheer Force Iron Head, I believe it's Sheer Force Iron Head, is still doing so much damage. Enough damage where it actually scares him out now as he goes into the Clay Doll. And at this point, Steelix is kind of free to just hit this thing twice. I do get an Iron Head off, and then I get. Uh, he gets a rapid spin off which lets me get a follow-up ice fang off so we do get each other's rocks off all right we do get each other's rocks off the field but uh i gave up my Steelix, and in return he gives up a lot of hp onto his clay doll and his aromatisse enough where they are uh not going to be too too big a factor for the rest of the match as you can see my inferno can just come in and u-turn for the rest of this clay doll's hp but um I'm reasonably okay with how that first, with how that initial trade went off with my Steelix and uh, his, his other two mons, but uh, I go into my Celebi, which lets him go into this thing for free, and I have to hard switch into my Infernape here. I'm going to get intimidated, which sucks because of the fact that um, he can Mega Evolve now. It goes for the uh, Signal Beam as I attempt to U-turn out. Uh, I clearly reveal that I'm Scarfed here, but there wasn't really another option for me to go for. He goes for a Volt Switch as I go into my... Um, as I go into my my um, Flygon, and I did fear the HP Ice, so I did hard switch out. I probably had U-turn on this set, but I did not felt li feel like uh, I was in a position to go for it. Um, and I end up going into the Infernape and then into the Celebi, where he misses a Toxic, which is pretty unfortunate, but it does allow me to U-turn out. This was another situation, just like last time, where... Uh, he never knows whether or not I'm going to straight up go for these um, attacks or you turn out. But I did expect a King Shield here and I try to take this as an opportunity to really try to go in a little bit. I go for the Dragon Dance and uh, I go for the Earthquake. He can then go for the Secret Sword and not enough damage. So he can now sack off so something. He has the Aromatisse that was injured from before. 
but I am at plus one, plus one, and I'm in a decent enough position to do some damage to the rest of his team. And here, I go for the Z Dragon Claw. Now, Z Dragon Claw should have taken a Dragonite out, even through multi scale, and uh, he had the extreme speed. Turns out he was banded extreme speed, which was incredibly smart on his part, I think. But uh, I end up bringing this thing in. He can't really um, play too risky around this. I expected the Milody to come in. I Dark Pulse. I got the flinch, which allows me to take out this Milodic. Um, I'm still kind of upset about the about the Flygon, but uh, I can't really be too upset because I was able to take out this Milodic decently well, and now I have a Mon advantage, and now I can start to to think about a potential end game. Uh, I think this might have been a sack. Like maybe he goes for 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 in for a Thunderbolt, but regardless, um, I don't think this was going to do anything in this end game no matter what so i just go into this because i, I wouldn't have taken a thunderbolt into a signal beam anyway so this was probably a sack in this situation allows me to go into my infernape and uh whether or not i stayed in i just went for a flare bless straight up that is pretty wild of me but now i have to switch out i go into my blastoise and now this thing is banded right so in my, in our first matchup my blastoise was able to pretty much hard wall this um dragonite but now uh, now that it's banded, he can two-hit KO me, and that puts me in a pretty rough position. Like not even, like not even gonna lie about that. And now I can go into this thing. I can get an ice beam off, and here I'm starting to see a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel because this thing is going to outspeed me. He sees that I'm life orb, but I do pack the water shuriken specifically for this interaction. If he takes any damage coming in, then my water shuriken can potentially clean up um, that manectric after that, and. My Greninja is in a decent position to kind of take on the rest of his team, except for the Extreme Speed. If this wasn't a Banded Extreme Speed Dragonite, he brought the perfect set against me. Because uh, pretty much most other sets other than just Banded banded uh, Extreme Speed Dragonite, I think I can potentially beat them at least over time. But he brought the uh, absolute perfect set against me. Hats off to him. I think that was fantastic prep on his part. We were talking after the match and I had my Electros last time. I think I had my Electros instead of the Flygon maybe. And my Electros and my Blastoise together were meant to always phase out this, this Dragonite. And I did it too well last time because he was telling me this time that yeah, after how badly his Dragon Dancing strategy went, went for him last time, there was no way that he was going to try to do that again. So we definitely both adjusted to last time except banded extreme speed just was a killer in this match it absolutely um won him the match i think and complete hats off to him i think uh, he played this really well and he brought the perfect prep for my team and uh i think that's gonna do it that is going to be our icba season four run finally over finally uh a completed playlist out there thank you so much to johnny gb this was a lot of fun to take part in uh i met a lot of interesting people this was a lot of fun just to be a part of but uh with that that's gonna be it for me uh coming this monday once again this monday icba season five week one will be coming out and uh sunday the day after this should come out uh, will be APA Academy week nine, I believe. The, that'll be the final three weeks of the APA, the final four weeks of the APA, as well as the final three or so weeks of the MPL coming up really, really soon. And uh, some other stuff, like I said, ICBA season five and UBL and PGPL season uh, with upcoming seasons as well this summer. So a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to come soon. But that's going to be it for me once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. going to be once again out.